Have you been able to make use of Demeter's functions? Yes. I was able to mitigate most soil conditions and restore a temporary balance. You should notice less rampant plant growth in the area. Maybe that'll give Plainsong's fields a chance to recover. Unfortunately, recovery in that area is unlikely without the assistance of the Utaru's land gods. I have discussed this matter with Zo. I believe we may have a workaround. Yeah, I'm helping her out with that. There's something I'm still trying to figure out. Why was Demeter using flying machines to distribute metal flowers? In its deranged state, Demeter was defending itself against a robotic swarm that would devour all plant life. It thought the Pharaoh Plague was still happening? It feared it would come again. As part of its directive of receding Earth's vegetation, it sought to protect plant life at all costs. And considering it had 20 years to proliferate, I expect you will continue to find the fruits of its efforts for some time. That's a good thing I have the code to dissolve the vines then. Were you able to make use of Poseidon? Yes. Many rivers, streams, and lakes associated with the regional watershed have been detoxified. As a result, red algae growth levels have seen a marked decline. According to my data, however, it appears a localized occurrence of red algae continues to persist near the coast. Maybe I'll look into it when I can. So, Poseidon spent the last 20 years hiding out in Las Vegas. From the data I found, it seems the city had an advanced water reclamation system. Is that why Poseidon went there? Most likely. In an effort to protect itself, Poseidon sought out a safe harbor where it could access water supply functions. There, buried and encased in a protective dome, it could guard against any threats. Like three Osirum showmen? I suspect that was not the first time it felt the need to repel trespassers. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world. Yes, and to program their behavioral routines, or even control them directly. So you could build an army of machines. Attack the Zeniths and take them out. It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the far Zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. Beta believes the Zenus want to use the terraforming system to wipe out life on Earth. Start over. So they can build it how they want. Further supporting our hypothesis. But why? Given their technology, they could wipe out the tribes of the world by easier means. And if they're the same people who left Earth a thousand years ago, wouldn't they want the biosphere to be as it was? It is likely they adjusted to different planetary conditions in their colony on Sirius. They may be trying to recreate that environment here. Turning Earth into a new Sirius. Their own personal playground. So the Zeniths are the same people who left Earth. Physically immortal. How'd they figure it out? From what we know of Far Zenith, it is plausible that prominent geneticists and engineers were offered a place aboard the Odyssey. 
in exchange for their expertise. Given enough time, technology, and resources, any challenge can be overcome. Like how Minerva eventually generated the deactivation codes for the Pharaoh Plague. Exactly. The Zenus. Gerard, Eric, Tilda, Verbena. Beta said they were some of the most powerful people on Earth. I think Elizabeth knew one of them. Tilda. Did she ever mention her to you? No. Elizabeth often spoke of her work, or told stories of her mother and her childhood. If she knew this Tilda, she did not disclose it with me. What we can conclude from your and Beta's experiences is that the Zeniths are ruthless in pursuit of their goal. To protect life on Earth, they must be stopped. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. A signal that precise would require thorough knowledge of the system. How could the Zeniths know that? From the records on your focus, it appears Far Zenith had an informant during the development of Zero Dawn. Hank Shaw. He was supposed to steal a copy of the system for Far Zenith, but Elizabeth and Travis Tate caught him first. Yes. It is likely Far Zenith acquired knowledge on the system's design through him, despite his failure. So, from what Beta told me, I guess we can assume the Zenith's technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounters with them amply demonstrate, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. They seemed indestructible, but that weapon the Rebels used stripped their shield somehow. Throughout history, Every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. While we lack the anti-shielding weapon, were I to absorb Hephaestus and utilize it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. I'll be on my way. I wish you safe travels. there is to know about everything she can also crank out a whole army of machines to kick your sorry behind when she's plugging in that power cell downstairs must have turned on these holograms Got a minute? As many as you need. I have to travel beyond the western coast. To the ruins, shrouded in fog. Yes. And I'm looking for a tribe, the Quen. I encountered them once before. They said they came from across the great ocean. I was hoping the Tanakh knew more about them. Hmm. There were rumors of trespassers in the area, but we thought they were just bandits. Hikaro sent out a patrol or two, but I don't recall them reporting back. We've had more pressing concerns, as you know. I'm sorry. That's all I can tell you. <sighs> it's okay. I guess I'll find out soon enough. There is something I've been meaning to discuss with you. It's personal. If you have a moment to spare.
What have you been up to? Varl has asked to learn the differences between my people's clans, so I've been teaching him to knock the history. It is heavy with blood and death, but also with honorable deeds and vanquished tyrants. Maybe you'd like to hear about it as well, when our mission is done. I'd be honored. What do Tanakhs do to relax? You know, to take a break from training? We play strike. Your Osirum friend, Erend, is surprisingly good at it. Although he has yet to beat me. It helps one think strategically. Hones the mind for tactics. Somehow that still sounds like training. Anything interesting happened while I was away? I found an acceptable place to practice with my blade. Oh, and where's that? Outside, above the base. There's a nest of sun wings that are always up for a fight. Ever thought of sparring with something that's not trying to kill you? That would defeat the purpose of the training. Found anything interesting during your training? Gaia told me where to find data on how wars were waged in the old world. I knew the Ten fought against machines, much as we do now, but it seems they were among the last of their kind. Later, machines battled other machines on behalf of greedy leaders, as they vied for lands and spoils. At least the Tanakh have the courage to put their lives on the line when conflicts arise. There is nobility in that. But maybe we just need fewer conflicts in the first place. Yes, of course. Hikaru would have it so as well. You said there was something you wanted to talk about? I've been speaking with Gaia. She mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering if you'd help me do the same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insists she can help me build such a thing if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believes these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with old world machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. It might be dangerous. The Zeniths probably still keep an eye on that place. We were lucky to get out of there alive the first time. I see. It sounds like this is worth the risk. By the ten, we shall see it through. I should get going. I've got a long road ahead. Should you need reinforcements? I know who to call. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy. Aloy, I hear you're going further west, past the Tanakh clan lands. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. It is said the Old Ones built towers there that touched the sky, so they could live far away from the earth that bore them. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would do. You and Varl doing okay? Uh, uh, training, I mean. We're doing fine. Although I admit it'd be nice to take a small break from studying, just the two of us. But then who'd look after Erend? There's always Katalo. Leave a loud Osiram with a brooding Tanakh. What could go wrong? What's everyone been up to? I've been trying to share some of my meals with Beta. Thought it might help her feel more at home. Maybe even get her to sleep up here instead of in that dark basement. She would not be moved. I appreciate you trying. Patience reaps the best harvest. 
I'm not giving up hope yet. How much have you read on Ted Farrow? Enough to wonder how a man who worked so hard to heal the world once could let greed and pride condemn it so easily. For one spirit to diminish in such a way, I, I'm not sure if I should hate him or pity him. Well, I should get going. Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Hephaestus. After that, I'm gonna need everyone's help. We'll be ready. I'm sorry, Aloy. After all the trouble you went through, you have to head west again. Oh, well, no one said this was gonna be easy. You sure you don't want any backup dealing with the Quen? They think I'm Sobek, or something like that. They won't hurt me, but I doubt they'll be so kind to anyone else. If you say so, let me know if you need anything before you go. You better not be slacking off on your studies while I'm gone. And risk Zo coming after me? I value my life. In fact, I've been reading about Ted Farrow. How he destroyed the world and crawled into a hole after killing those who saved it. He definitely was a piece of work. While well, Beta and Gaia built the rig, can you get everyone ready for the mission ahead? Of course. What is it? Nothing. It's just that everything's about to change. We'll get Gaia, and she'll help us set things right. No more zeniths, no more derangement. It'll be a different world. I welcome it, but I wonder how the Nora will react, and the Karja, and, well, everyone. Let's just focus on fixing Gaia for now. You're right. We've got an angry AI to take down. If I get Omega clearance and then we grab Hephaestus, we might finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging thunder jaws. Better them than us, for once. I'll be in touch if I need anything. I'll make sure Beta briefs everyone on the pulse generators. Good. That's just I hear about you going west. Turns out we need one last thing before we can grab Hephaestus. Because it would have been too easy otherwise. How are things with Catalo? You still scared of him? Oh, she thinks she's funny. Actually, I played strike with him. I had to fill in most of the conversation myself, but I'm still alive. Glad to hear it. You've been looking at any interesting data? I asked Gaia to find me something to look at a while back. And she found the mother of all forges. They called it sports. Turns out the old ones spent a lot of time tackling and punching each other for points in, in one game or another. Are you mixing some solly food and fresh ale? I bet half the claim will be lining up to watch. I need to get going. I think I know the answer, but are you sure you don't need any help? Gaia mentioned this uh, other tribe you found, the Quen. They sound like a nasty bunch. I can handle them. In the meantime, Varl will help you get ready for what comes next. Take care of yourself, Aloy.
Hey, you got a second? I suppose. So do you have everything you need to build the rig and pulse generators? Gaia sent me the schematics. The designs are... modest, without the capabilities of Hephaestus, but... they should work. Not that it matters without a mega clearance. I'll find it. Just... try to have the transport ready by the time I get back. What else can you tell me about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth... She was an expert programmer given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. But she'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I... I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the Hot Zone Crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So have you been upstairs at all? Not really. Varl sometimes comes down here to talk. He keeps asking if I'm okay. I thought he only wanted to know about my productivity, but... It's almost like he actually wants to talk to me. Yeah, I think he does. Have you talked with anyone else in the base? I speak with Gaia. She asked me how I'm feeling, and my opinion on various topics. I didn't expect that from an AI. That's all thanks to Elizabeth. She believed Gaia had to care, not just follow her programming orders. I know. Independent emotional processing enabled the previous version of Gaia to create you, after all. Yeah. I guess so. 
So, aside from Varl and Gaia, who else have you been talking to? Zoe told me how you met after your escape from the Hades Proving Lab. I had no idea you were severely injured. If the Zenus had killed you, life on Earth would be doomed. My escape would have been for nothing. But they didn't kill me. And thanks to Varl and Zoe, I was able to recover. You said you and Varl talk sometimes. What about? He told me about your tribe, the Nora, and the proving ritual you did. I told him if I was born into the tribe, I'd never be able to do the proving. It does require a lot of physical training, but there are plenty of other roles besides being a hunter. I don't think I'd be suited for any of them. Well, I guess it's a good thing you're not a Nora then. That's enough for now. Good. Why is this door locked now? Beta requested the use of that room as her personal space. I have locked it at her request. Okay. Looks like a power cell could fit here. Jensen almost caught onto my plan while we were going over the Diagnostic Center specs. I've got nothing against the rest of the team. It, it's just... I'm sure they've all got family they're gonna meet up with in Elysium. But me? I couldn't even bury August. There is nothing of him left besides my memories. I won't let those blink out of existence, too. The vault's for us, no one else. Eleven more weeks before we lock the blueprints. Then the rest will be up to Gaia. I found a locked door behind the vent in the basement. Wonder if that's it.
Wizards from the Stars now? Looks like it. What's next? Wizards from the Moon? Southwest of the grove, in the heart of the jungle. Got it. Thanks for the advice. Oh, my fingers feel stiff and it's cold. I see you, champion. Sit, please. A squad of young ones recently returned to Scalding Spear, our main settlement just west of here. Apparently, they lost a soldier to machines during a training mission in No Man's Land. Just goes to show that the wilds can be just as dangerous to the east as they are here. Be careful out there. Will do. I get the feeling that might be so. I should check up on her when I can.
up with strength. May regardless campaign come to a Gala marches to her defeat. I'm trying hard to live up to the job, and to your example, Desert Flame. Don't worry, I gave you your fair share of the credit for finding this little guy. As I predicted, rescuing the kid went over pretty well. As I predicted, rescuing the kid went over pretty well.
among us. Be well. Good day, champion. Aloy, wasn't expecting to see you in Scalding Spear. I hear you fixed the wound and stopped the war within our clan. I was just lucky your commander was willing to listen. Wasn't luck that took down the bulwark or fought off Regala? What's next? Saving the world? <laughs> if I'm lucky. Um, have you been to Plainsong? Did you see Corey? I did. He's doing well. He's playing music. Music? Yeah, I can see that. He always carried a tune well. I never thanked you. You did right by him. So did you. At the ready, soldier. What's going on? My squad's being sent on patrol northwest of here. I won't be able to see Corey for a long time. I wonder if you could let him know. I don't want him to think I've abandoned him. We are moving out. Please. If I find my way to Plainsong, I'll let him know. Sakura, I will leave your scab ass behind. Thank you, Aloy. Come on, soldier! A sack of sand is tougher than you! to it when I can. I was told I'd find one here. I should take out the leader. use of this.
clear. Rations have been sparse lately. We should send a squad out hunting. should have been in this place, but I could always deal with them now. Either way, I'm done here. something not doing too good either
frighten you? Get him next time. Bridgewater ammo will make this easier. I think I'm back in range of the Vista Point. Try to find where the image was taken. Okay, got the image. That metal structure looks like the one in the image. I think I might be close to where it was taken. I think I'm getting close. Got it!
flash of air. You're not gonna take on those grim horns without me, are you? Oh, you're here. Good. Taking these machines down won't be easy. We'll be fine. Follow my lead, okay? There. The Grimhorns. And they're not alone. We'll just have to be smart about this. I'll follow your lead. I could give me an edge in the fight. Traps. I think this used to be a Tanakh hunting route. them to our advantage. Let's get those control cores. 